All right, Coyote Pack, for the very first time, I'm going to go face to face with quite possibly the stinkiest animal in the world. Yep, a skunk. And I'm sure you're thinking, oh yeah, you guys are working with a skunk, it probably is degland, there's no way you're gonna get sprayed. No, this skunk has its glands and there is the chance that I could get sprayed. As a matter of fact, there's a chance all of you are what? gonna get sprayed. What? Oh yeah, get ready, it's skunk time. Oh boy. Every once in a while, I have the chance to work with some pretty cute animals, like B-Rab the Baby Sloth and Mr. Bean the Tamandua, two animals that are being raised and rehabilitated at a wildlife sanctuary called Kids Saving the Rainforest. I imagine everyone out there watching would love to get up close with a sloth or an anteater, but what about a skunk? That's right, I had the chance to go face to face with nature's most notoriously stinky creature. Get ready to meet Jungle the Skunk. Okay, here we go. Skunk coming in. Oh, look at you! Oh, oh, oh! oh. Coming right for the camera, and you know, kind of have a bit of a warning there, guys. Oh, that um, tail is up. up. Oh Just no, Mario, you're up. in the line of fire right now, buddy. Good morning. Good morning, Jungle. How are you? This is Jungle, and she is a striped hog nosed skunk. Oh boy. I, got I just feel like I need to put my hands up when the butt is just like that. <laughs> and that's not gonna do you any good. Either. Now, most of the time, now what's what's very unique oh. about jungle is, all right, yeah, careful there. Oh, Mark. Careful. Oh boy. You guys know it is incredibly difficult to present with mammals. What I don't wanna do is just grab onto jungle and try to hold her in place. She needs to feel as if she is controlling this scene. I love how they pounce. Now she is less than a year old and the hognose skunk is actually one of the largest skunk species in the world. This one specifically is the striped hognose skunk which is native to this area here in Costa Rica. They have such incredible personalities. All members of the musclehead family are curious, they are playful. You can see she's just bounding around having a great time this morning and you never know what she's gonna do next. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle. He's running circles around you, Mark. I know, I see that. There you are, hi. Okay, thanks, that was a nice kiss. Kissed by a hognose skunk. So I know a lot of you have written in and you've said, Coyote, are you gonna enter the spray zone with a skunk? Guys, really, do you think I wanna be sprayed by a skunk? Not only will that be horrible for me and the crew, and I'll stink for days, but you guys can't smell through your screens. And, ah, uh, actually, funny story is I was sprayed by a skunk when I was in fourth grade. My dog went into the garage, there was a skunk in there, the skunk sprayed, I got it all over me, and I had to stay out of school for several days because I smelled so bad. Uh, the good news about Jungle here is that she's very calm being around people, and there's not a great chance that we're gonna get sprayed, but, but there is a chance. Well, yeah, you're right. There, There is if we agitate her. But as you can see, she's very interested in playing right now. Come here. Let me see. Oh, good morning. Good morning. You know what might, so might be interesting? You know, skunks actually, believe it or not, love eggs. Do we want to try maybe if I break an egg and see if she'll lap it up out of my hands? Look what I've got. Look what I've got. I think the good stuff. Okay. Now look at this, look at the stripes down the center of her back. Most species of hognose skunks have a solid white line, but the striped hognose has a dual set. And you'll notice how, look at, there's hardly any fur on her tail. Now she did also have a skin condition when she came here to the sanctuary. Her tail was completely bald, but the good news is she is healthy now and you can see that the fur is starting to grow back. Ooh, don't wanna to touch the tail too much and eventually it will be this elegant plume of white bristly fur. Now, all right, I'm gonna choose something a little bit dangerous. Mark, come over here. That right there, that's the spray zone. Now, the way that a skunk spray works is they have two glands on either side of the butt. 
Now, if a predator comes into the environment and the skunk is alarmed, they will emit just a little bit of musk to give off a smell, which is basically a warning that says, mess with me and you're gonna get the full dose. If the skunk is agitated to that point, what it will do is project two streams of musk out at an attacker. They can shoot it up to 10 feet and their aim is extremely accurate. So something like a bear or a wolf, if it comes in, tries to make a meal of a skunk, it's gonna be a really bad day. Did you eat all your egg? You're not gonna spray me in the face, are you? And this is a point blank range right here. Give her a little butt scratch. Did you ever think you'd be this close to a skunk? Especially, especially that close to the danger zone? I don't think anybody ever thought that I would be this close to a skunk's backside, especially one that still has its musk glands. Now skunks are opportunistic feeders, so pretty much anything they come across out there in the wild is fair game, but they specialize in foraging, which means that they search around in the leaf litter, digging with their claws for grubs or little worms. They will eat berries, they eat roots. I mean, these creatures just will feast on anything they can find. And right now, Jungle is eating some fresh chicken eggs. Oh, that's good, huh, buddy? Look at the front claws there. Looks just like the foot of, let me see if I can hold it. Look at that, just like the paw of a badger. Razor sharp claws, that is cool. Easy Mario. Uh oh. Easy Mario. A little risky. You'll notice how the skunk is just able to move underneath all of these logs. She's got a bunch of dirt up on her back now. The really coarse fur allows her to stay warm if it ever gets cold. Now obviously skunks here in the rainforest don't ever get that cold, but the fur is incredibly dense and there are these bristly guard hairs. And then underneath, just like all the other members of the mustelid family, there's very soft, downy-like hair. I feel pretty comfortable with Jungle <laughs> at this point and I think she would really have to be upset with us to actually spray. If I don't move, oh, she's digging at my boot. Oh, 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 she's on my head. Oh, huh, well that was a first. Getting completely walked over by a skunk. I got work on my cardio. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go. Come on. Uh-oh, she's gaining. She's gaining, I'm getting chased by a mustelid. Ah, it's gonna get me! She's gonna get me! Here she comes! Oh, good lap! Good lap! Alright, let's go again. Here we go. Ready? Let's see. Let's see. There you are. Oh, you're so pouncy. Woo! I think I need more exercise. I'm getting winded already. Oh, good job. Okay, come on. Come on, you got this. Woo! One very important aspect of Jungle's day is that she gets plenty of exercise. So right now, getting her out here in this natural environment, just getting her to run back and forth is very important for her rehabilitation. Ah, this is exhausting. I definitely need to work on my cardio. This skunk is running laps around me. All right, Jungle, I'm ready, here we go. Come on. Oh, she's making a pee, making a pee, okay. Oh, and a poop. Now, even skunks poop, as you'll notice, she's, uh, yeah, Ooh. morning business. I guess we ran it right out of you, didn't we? Whoa, my goodness. That is a, uh, yeah, jungle, that's a, that's a serious number two right there. Okay, well, a uh, little exercise, a little bathroom break, and I think it is uh, back off to the races. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, now she's quick around her feet. Oh, what a morning hanging out, getting exercise with a baby hognose skunk. Thanks, Jungle. Oh, the good news is that in just a couple months, Jungle is going to be released back out into the wild. Just another incredible success story here at Kids Saving the Rainforest. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, I'm ready, let's go. If you thought palling around with a skunk looked like fun, make sure to go back and watch the time I got up close with one of its most elusive relatives, the Alaskan mink. 
And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Look at that. I put a camera in my hand and immediately she comes over to hang out. Oh, there you go. Okay. I see you. Whew, that's a danger zone right there. I'm paying attention to the camera and all of a sudden I've got a skunk butt right in my face. Oh.